Come at me, bro. <laughs> Pish. Slowly melting. Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm a professional soul singer. <laughs> Today we're going to be discovering... Hello, my dudes. How are you? How's the fam? How's your mam? How's the shamalama ding dong? Welcome back to another Soul Singer Discovers. Hope you're all having a glorious week. I know I am. Scotland is currently experiencing a small heat wave. A heat wave that requires all of the oldies and the gingers to stay inside. And I'm in my little studio room, slowly melting. <laughs> today, today on Soul Singer Discovers, we're going to be discovering Slipknot. Ooh. But before we do that, I'd like to return to another Metalhead Musing. Today's Metalhead Musing comes from Frank Unknown. Ooh, that sounds like a noir character, I'm not gonna lie to you, Frank. Fun bit of Cannibal Corpse trivia, the singer, growler, George Corpse Grinder Fisher, is an expert at claw machines. When they're on tour, he spends his free time playing claw machines and winning all the toys and stuffed animals out of them and then donates them to children's hospitals and whatnot. For a guy named Corpse Grinder, he's actually a very sweet man. Do you know something, Frank? Sometimes in this world, I have to log off social media and I need to go sit in the garden with my dog, Brover, because I sometimes believe there's absolutely zero good in the world. Then you tell me stories like that and I'm like, oh! Why is it always the most dark and frightening people who are actually the most lovely? I don't talk about feelings, Alfred. I don't have any. I've never seen one. I'm a night stalking, crime fighting vigilante in a heavy metal wrapping machine. Don't trust the sunny people, that's what I say. Today, today, today is Slipknot. Now, I'm certain I've heard Slipknot before. Certain of it. Because my brother was a, a huge Slipknot fan. I don't really remember any of it. Or at least any that I remember, I just remember as white noise. <laughs> Which is really unfair, truly. I know that there is a huge fan base for Slipknot in Glasgow. Uh, Slipknot played the Hydro, maybe only a few years ago, not even that long. And the general gist was, it was fabulous, except the sound in the Hydro's pish, pish. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of Slipknot fans here. I've definitely seen them all in their masks. And I'm not gonna lie, the masks don't frighten me because I'm dead on the inside, but also as a huge horror fan, like a huge horror fan, I was tickled pink when I was looking up images of Slipknot to use for this video. And I found one of the lead singer, Corey Taylor, in one of his more recent masks. And I'm like, bitch, that's just a psychiatrist from Nightbreed. That's right. I watched many times the film Nightbreed. And I happen to think that it's transcendent. Come at me, bro. <laughs> anyway, let's find out what Rosie the Robot thinks of, slope of, of Slipknot. Slipknot is an American heavy metal band formed in Des Moines, Iowa in 1995. The band is known for its aggressive musical style, intense live performances and distinctive masks. Slipknot's original lineup consisted of nine members, each assigned a number and wearing a unique mask. The band's self-titled album, Slipknot, was released in 1999 and achieved critical and commercial success. It peaked at number one on Billboard Heat Seekers chart and eventually went double platinum. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to live through um, certain periods of time without being on the borders aware of certain bands, films, memes, that kind of thing. I think Slipknot falls into that category. The song that I have chosen today is called Eyeless. I do like to stay off the beaten path occasionally and sometimes with you know with YouTube copyright the way it is you can't get away with a hell of a lot. I did go and look up some live versions of this and frankly it sounded like they'd been recorded inside a tin can, inside a biscuit tin, inside a giant tin shelter. And my tinnitus does not want to hear that. So we are going for just the studio version off of the album and, I, and I'm and I'm hyped. I am hyped. Let's find out what all of this is about, shall we? Slipknot Eyeless. Boop. Okay, prodigy.
the sun Cause he's a phantom, a mystery And that leaves me nothing Many times if you wanted to die It's too late for me All you have to do is get rid of me You can't get out of order with a mother Pausing. Yeah, the, the drum sample in the background is giving me heavy Prodigy vibes, but I am I'm a huge Prodigy fan. Keith Flint, way too soon, man. Way too soon. Uh, yeah, I remember, I remember being, ooh, I was young. I can't remember my specific age, but I remember, um, I used to watch Top of the Pops, which is a UK music program. Um, I watched Top of the Pops religiously, because of course I did. And I remember being very, very baby young and watching Top of the Pops and The Prodigy came on with Firestarter and it blew my tiny mind, blew it away. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna like this regardless because I have such a big soft spot for The Prodigy. Um, it's really weird, He's it's so expressive, Corey, Corey Taylor, the lead singer, he's going between these, it's like, um, he's like building up to the scream. So he's kind of going, it's conversational almost. It's kind of like he's having a conversation and he's steadily getting more and more angry. You'll know yourself if you're ever in a conversation and you feel like someone's like, I don't know, being a dick, whatever. And you kind of go, for God's sake, you're you do do that. It's a very human sound. It sounds very destructive. Woo! I don't know. Is Corey Taylor still still making these sounds? I I don't know is the answer. I know there's absolutely healthy ways to make these sounds though, or at least sustainable ways to make these sounds for sure. I love the sample. I can hear some of the things going on in the harmony that I like, although they're very light and I and I can't make out of a lot of them. But he's this lead singer's given it everything. Everything. Let's keep going. I try to lie to me for so long. Everywhere I go, there's a sense of it. Become my antics and give me a choice. Doesn't matter if I give a shit a shot. That you guy, but you get to California with a mother of Reno's eyes. Get to California with a mother of Reno's eyes. You can't say California with a mother of Reno's eyes. It's all I know. Pausing for a second, Jesus Christ. Like it's really uh it's really antagonistic, it's aggressive. Um I really like that da 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 if you want to get into it with me, if you want to scratch an itch in my brain, give me diminished, give me dissonance. I love dissonance. Oh, I mean, I, it makes no sense. It makes no sense because if you listen to, as I did growing up, I listened to a lot of soul music. I listened to a lot of jazz. Um, jazz certainly has its dissonance. It has its place for dissonance. But like the kind of dark dissonance that comes with this style of music, I really enjoy. Um, which just, it, 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 how different my life would have been if I just sat and listened to a lot of these music, th these musics. <laughs> if I just listened to these musics. But there's loads of stuff in it that I really enjoy. And I really enjoy this, I really do. I think Corey is an incredibly um, emotional singer. And I wonder what effect that's had on his voice because one of the things that I know 
tends to be the split of metal vocalists is those that sing with feral emotion in order to get to that really screamy, gritty, fry place. And those that use just technique and nothing else, they separate the emotion. Um, not to say they sing without it, but they just, they're far more about creating the technique and then adding the emotion on top, whereas this feels like guttural, guttural emotion. And a lot of the lyrics are, you know, back off, shut the fuck up, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do like it. I do like it. Strange. Let's keep going. Boop. Take it back. Jesus ain't got anything to do with that. <sighs> that long one that he did in the middle, that wah, felt so destructive. Uh, I can't guarantee that that was destructive. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where if you give me two singers singing contemporary music of any kind, whether it's soul music, contemporary country music, contemporary jazz music, Neo soul, blah, 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 blah. I'll be able to tell you, as a trained vocalist, I'll be able to tell you who's singing from support and who's not. Only occasionally will it be one where I'm like, I'm not actually sure. But you can always, you can tell there's a quality to a vocalist who's singing from a supported, healthy place. Metal vocals are absolutely so much harder to hear that. Uh, especially because I've not heard an awful lot yet, but um, it feels super destructive but that being said it's so incredibly fitting for what's going on those big bends those ba 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 love them there was a bit in the middle where he was using a more melodic voice that was so, the the melody he was singing and the harmony that was being played was really crunchy there was something crunchy in that that was not quite sitting right at all. Which of course is a good thing. It's a good thing. Dissonance is good. Plunging your whole body into freezing ice cold water and then coming out of it is good to feel uncomfortable sometimes. It's very good to feel uncomfortable. It, it, it grooves. I think it grooves. I really love the sample that's in there. It reminds me of a lot of very UK based rap acts actually. That's rap acts. <laughs> it's really good. It's very good. I am very much looking forward to listening to some more Slipknot. What do you think? Are you a Slipknot fan? Did you go and see them in Glasgow? What do you think of the masks? Do you think that's a cool idea? I know the point of the mask. The point of the mask is to be a performer. But what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section as always. Thank you for commenting. I have such joy reading through them. Some of you are so incredibly rude and I love it. Thank you to my patrons as always. If you've enjoyed this video, I do encourage you to go and watch some of my other videos or burn in hell. Mm -hmm. Until next time my dudes, go and enjoy the sun you glorious bastards. <laughs>